Indianapolis still a buzz after that first one. Michigan moving on with his victory against Louisville. And now the Kentucky Wildcats take the floor against Wichita State. It's only the second matchup in NCAA tournament history in a second round game involving two teams with at least 30 wins. And the winner of this one advances to the regional in Memphis for a Friday game. Welcome back, friends. Jim Nance for Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wilson. Three years ago, second round in St. Louis, Wichita State was undefeated, number one seed, and lost to Kentucky in this spot. I know the rosters are different, but the fan bases they remember, particularly on the Wichita State side. I have a feeling the coaches remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> particularly. Greg Marshall. Greg Marshall. Greg Marshall. They've been wanting a rematch with Kentucky for a long time. And what do the Shockers bring coming in? They bring a freshman who can really play. He's a new face for the Shockers, and he is so talented. Landry Shamit does it all for this team. He's crafty, he's quick, he has range. He's got to be aggressive and under control against the Fox from Lexington. Fellas, watch out. There's a Fox in the house, <laughs> and he can get up and down with the best of them. Electrifying the open floor, and he's improved that outside shot. Hey, we're sitting here with a silver fox, so we, <laughs> we're used to that. <laughs> Wichita State's first five, not a senior to be found. Kentucky, you look at their five, includes a senior and Derek Willis. With three highly acclaimed freshmen for Coach Cal. Who has now won 29 regular or conference tournament titles in his career. And Greg Marshall. 10th season of Wichita State and for the fifth consecutive year his Shockers have been won at least one game in the tournament. Includes the 2013 year when Wichita State went all the way to the final four down in Atlanta. So here we go. We're expecting another great one. After a wonderful college game let it off today as Controlled by the Shockers. How about that Shack that's up in the Shack we know? <laughs> and right now, Kentucky goes a little bit of magic. Jim Nance, Grant Hill. Wichita State with his win over Dayton to get to the spot. Kentucky eliminated Northern Kentucky. And off the floor with it with a rebound as Brown for the Shockers. Just hustle plays Zach Brown. A 3 and D guy downtown. Great defense. Expect to see him on Monk or Fox at some point in the game. You're right, he is a talented stopper. He goes to the big guy, tough pass. Good hands. And sweeping it is Monk. Kentucky gets down the floor quickly. Frisco. And that's going the other way. And he does love to attack. It's called for the foul. Pretty good defensive end. One thing, you cannot beat these guys with the dribble. They do a great job moving those puppies, getting organized. He's just a turnover, huh? Yeah, the foul, tough one early. And this this Wichita State team, they have so much depth, so unselfish, very balanced team inside out. Kentucky early trapping Morris. Here's Fox helps out. This is not good. Grand Camp. And they can't do that. Fox has got to stay at home on train camp where they dodge one. Yeah, train camp usually a dead eye shooter. Monk on the baseline, whips it outside the box for the three. And it's all Wichita State underneath. That's the one weakness of Fox. Not quite a three point shooter, likes to get into the paint mid range is more his game. And now he's on, it's a little switch, or automatic switching here. That's why he ended up with Frank Camp. Duffy over to Morris, and now back to Shaman. Briscoe nice guarding him. Frank Camp drives in, whips the pass back outside. And Shannon left open, top of the key. That was a great ball movement, but way off on the shot. Up ahead. Monk. Ball gets stuck for a moment. Great <laughs> contest by Shannon. Sure was. Great recovery. Shannon's very good. He dribble drive. Very patient player. Going to be a terrific one. McDuffie. <laughs> and a follow-up. No. And a whistle on Brown's attempt. How about him, sky and high? And speaking of sky and high, Malik Monk going to the rim. Shamit contesting it. Getting a little wedge there on the <laughs> rim and the backboard, but the athleticism of both these young players on display. You talked about Zach Brown on the glass. Just 19 second chance points for Wichita State in their last matchup. 
with Dayton. So they love to crash the boards. It's going to be interesting. Will they crash or get back against the transition? They do adjust, though. If all of a sudden the rebounding has its impact, and they'll put less on the glass. They bring in Dominique Hawkins for Briscoe. The foul was on Monk, and there is the first point of the game put up by Zach Brown. Shamit on Fox. They stay at home. They show big on ball screens. And McDuffie will have to stay busy too with Willis. Nice defense. It's tap back outside by Brown. Well, they will love you to death if you don't take away that pass. Loader for two. Tough kid. Huh? Yeah. He's just Tough hung shot. in there. And doing a great job coming down the stretch. He certainly has, including making the all SEC tournament team last week. And they took care of business. Double on the shack. Beat Arkansas in their tournament final. Shamit had a couple of good looks. And when they double team Morris, he's a great decision maker. The Shocker's got to knock down those open jump shots. Fox. And a foul against Fran Camp. So you get in space. Got to form a wall against him in transition, but as you talked about Hawkins, just a nice little mid-range shot. And they call the foul on Shamit. Well, they do a great job, though. They're tough to officiate because they always try to control that penetration. With the wiggle and off the glass, no. And a fourth rebound already for Zach Brown. It's tough to control a Fox with a wiggle, I know that. <laughs> he does have some shakes. Shockers 0 for 5 from the field. Nice. Camp. He has long range. Yes, yes sir. you see. He owns them. Well, you got to hug him, and then you can't bite on that pump. He made only one shot against the Flyers, but it was a big one. And what did Greg say? It was a dagger, huh? A dagger three. And I think he was providing some entrepreneurial yes. thoughts. He might want to, he might want to trademark that. <laughs> McDuffie to the hole. And Brown again on the glass. <laughs> Does a great job. And he says, hey, I'll go outside too. I think Kentucky's got to get Bam the ball inside. Yeah, they got, one, once in a while, they got to introduce themselves to Bam. <laughs> Monk. And what a nice screen by Bam, though. Let him turn the corner. A smart play by Monk. Struggles with his shot in the last game. Get a high percentage shot close to the basket. Hawkins on Frank Camp now. He'll stay pretty much at home on him. Look how he's denying out the half court. Shockers one of eight. The only make was Fran Camp's three. Down low they go to Brown. Willis behind him. Five to shoot. In the paint. Pretty cut by Shaq. Yeah. And Morris hits it. He timed it beautifully. He waited for Bam to take a peek. The big fella. Ooh, big time. Large at the rim. Fox make the move. What a block by McDuffie. Well, you need help on a guy like Fox. And Brown. Out of bio trying to defend. And it's off the rim. Last touch by Willis. It'll be Wichita State basketball out of the first break. And now the Powerade sideline report with Tracy. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. Don't let anyone tell you this Wichita State team isn't out for a little payback, especially after Kentucky ended their undefeated season in 2014 in the tournament. Now, granted, none of these players played in that game, but Fred Van Vliet and Ron Baker, they did, and they've been in the ears of these shockers all week long. Van Vliet addressed the team via FaceTime on the bus on Friday, and you know what? Greg Marshall's brought it up. He brought it up in the huddle to motivate this team on Friday as well, Jim. No, they haven't forgotten. Even, as you said, the Van Vliet's and the Bakers and the Earlies. They all want this game, too. As Fran 
Camp makes the move inside, and he is denied by a whole slew of Wildcats. They brought in Gabriel, one of the defenders on that. Adebayo down low, and he's blocked by Willis. And don't be fooled by this team. They had eight blocks in the last game. Wichita State, great at protecting the rim, but great defense. I, I think it was a yeah, goal tender there. Hit yeah. the, the backboard yeah. first. I agree. Kentucky got away with one. They went to Bam, as you suggested, but the great weak side help by this team. There's Gabriel. Outside shot. Wichita State's defense is impressive. <laughs> they are. Smith here likes to penetrate. Won the offense. Kelly on the floor, too, and they got a Bam on a bang. <laughs> bam on a bang. I love it. <laughs> Watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming devices with NCAA March Madness live. Watch now NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. That's the first on BAM. And you see Humphreys coming in. Seven-foot sophomore from Sydney, Australia. And a little double stagger there for a great shooter. And Camp has really loosened his game up tonight, too. Driving to the rim. Deshaun Smith, number two, in for Wichita State. We'll go to the other side, away from him. Kelly was coming into the game, coming off a career high. 11 rebounds against Dayton. Grand Camp kicks it corner. Kelly, baseline floater. That's nothing. Got to get in the way, and he does in time. And Kelly's a drive it guy, push it. A drag screen early. These teams are combined four of 20. As Hawkins has hit two of the five field goals in this game. And you can see Cal going to the experience. This kid has been playing tough, not afraid to get in the lane and finish the deal. It's going to be a real struggle scoring. Both teams pretty good. Ooh, a step through. That was an attempt by Willis. Comes off the bench. Gives them about 10 points a game. You've got to take good shots against both these teams. Michael Mulder is on the floor for Kentucky, number 11. Mm -hmm. He can stroke it. Zach Brown guarding Fox, his length. He is their best brother defender for Wichita State. There's Gabriel. And Mulder. It's a back to Gabriel. Humphreys. Kick it out. Nice play. And here's Fox, the only Kentucky starter currently on the floor. And this is the way the game's going to be played. You've got to compete. Anything loose, you've got to get. And value every possession. Fox. That's what he's done better. He wants a foul on that one, too. And when he hits that shot, he is unguardable. Always attacking from mid range. <laughs> Willis trying to post up. They are patient. Here's Smith. Wichita State's gone scoreless for about three and a half. That's traveling. Well, it's not going to be pity. Pretty. It's going to be competitive. How about this one? And there'll be no pity. <laughs> be none at all. Player Fox. So dangerous. The Pac 12 is undefeated in this tournament. Gonzaga delivered Coach Few his 500th career win. Congratulations to Mark as the Zags move on to the Sweep 16 and the regional in San Jose. And of course, so far, nine of the Sweet 16 spots have been filled, three of them by the Big Ten. It's incredible. I've learned the course of the season, people negate certain conferences and from tournament time, they step up. Yeah. And when they had the early bracket preview in February, there wasn't one Big Ten team that merited a Sweet 16 seed at that time. Five to shoot here for Kentucky. Risco realizes uh -huh. that, and he is able to knock it home. Yeah, that, he has really worked on the shot. Still not where he would like it to be. Nurser right here with the ball on the floor for the first time. Austin Reeves as well, number 12, as Shamit thought about the shot. And Reeves really the one guy that can knock shots from deep and shoots them with confidence, just like Brandkamp. McDuffie 
Let off by Briscoe. Kelly, maybe took an extra step there. And the Wildcats, who have scored the last seven, push it up ahead. Willis, yeah, loaded up. Oh, there they are, solid though. Challenge, check out. This is the end that they're somewhat limited. They struggle on this offensive end. They've missed the last six shots. Duffy, last moment, changes his mind. Reeves to Nurzier. Utah State just can't crack this defense. A lot of bad shots early. Pretty move. Oh, that was good. good. That, that, that's a nice addition from a timeout, though. This kid's got some good footwork. Knows how to finish the deal at the rim. Had a big play in the game the other day. With uh, shot clock winding down, he just took it to the basket and dumped it down. That's the first points for the Shockers in five minutes. Great show. Holder. He can do it. Oh, yeah. I like this kid. From Windsor, Ontario. Uh, where my wife is from. Is it... Did she shoot like that? <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she can. <laughs> no, she could sing. And they know that Scott nice get back. Kelly on the other side, no, but bounces back out to Shannon. Right now, Wichita State, 3 for 17. He can shoot it, though. He's got Reeves. confidence. He thinks threes, that kid. Man, shoulder and all. Kid from Arkansas, who in high school averaged 35 a game. Freshman. No stoppage in play. Jack Alperic can't get subs in. Hawkins. Why not this guy? Let him stay on the floor. And John's going to change. He's going to bring somebody out, I think. Keep Hawkins in the game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Just got to get to the rim. Shamit. Good move. Trevor Humphreys. Three hesitation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice hands. Well, they are so good defensively. They make you earn everything as McDuffie pulls up with a three. Got it. A nice looking stroke that time. Boy, he is a flexible player. A lot of spots he can do damage. From your neck of the woods there. Hey, St. Anthony's. Don't mess with St. Anthony's kids. Yeah, Patterson, New Jersey. And one made your career pretty good, or helpful, I should say. Yeah, yeah. You made your own. Willis short with the three. Nurzier able to save it. And the Shockers have a chance to take the lead on this trip. They don't hurt themselves generally, other than occasionally ineffective shooting. Duffy again. Nurzier trying to bounce it off Humphreys. Well, you really try and beat them down before that defense is set, but they balance the floor. They do a great job with the Tall State getting back transition defense, forcing Kentucky to play their style of basketball, that grind it out, smash it out. Style. It's almost like Virginia, too. They make you take a lot of time on the offensive end. Yeah, he can make that, too. Humphreys, at this time. Kelly sees a lane. Nurture is there on the other side. And Willis says, I'll take it back the other way. Mulder, we've already seen he can shoot this time. That's what they got to do. Shake it up a little, push in an open opportunity. Sometimes in Wichita State, they have so much balance and depth that you feel like they don't know who to go to because everybody's a weapon. As Merza takes maybe a ill advised three there. And he can make that too. He can step back. That was a little deep though. Shocker shooting 25%. A lot of guys tired out there. Look at all the subs on the sideline. <laughs> Got seven. Like at, at the park waiting for the next game. We need the hockey change, huh? Still waiting for the under eight timeout. Right. Now with five on the clock. Briscoe's done this once. Dips down and out. They're going to give Reeves one move, but he's going to get moving without the basketball. They got a timeout. I think Greg Marshall saw these guys panting. <laughs> well, we got the 555 in a hurry. Here's your game summary Wildcats by a point. The five Kentucky starters have scored a total of seven points.
game. Defensively, it's been fantastic for Wichita State. Sliding his feet. McDuffie drawing the charge early. And then the weak side. They're not letting Bam throw one down. Three guys in the paint getting a deflection. Impressive performance here early on the defensive end for Wichita State. They got to translate it and carry it over on the offensive side. And that's why they got to get down there quickly to get some good clean open looks, Kentucky. Adebayo has not attempted a shot from the field. And back out on the court for Kentucky. Morris is going to be over the back. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Ford. State Farm and by John Deere watching the big dance calls for big refreshments so grab a delicious ice cold coca-cola and enjoy the game coca-cola taste the feeling hey, you know Jim we are in Indiana and of course uh, Bob Knight territory now they're looking for a coach uh, Tom Crean, uh, you know, lost his job. And a dear friend of mine, Jerry Gimbelstop, who was an assistant for Bob Knight, passed away this weekend. And I just want to remember him to our condolences to him, his family. Just a great guy. Later coached at GW. Sorry to hear the passing. A good man. Good community, man. Basketball community. New coach. Great respect for him. So that was off the hands of. Adebayo and the Shockers on the floor with it. And the arrow is going to go to Kentucky. Check in with Tracy. Jim, Greg Marshall feels that his team is playing a bit slow. He wants them to pick up the pace. He wants better shot selection. And then at the end, he said, just take a deep breath. I forgot to tell you that in pregame. Take a deep breath. Sounds like Jim telling you and I. <laughs> oh, and his calls against Kentucky. And that's what they've got to do, though. Get it down, jack it, and chase it. Uh, this is just too tough-minded a defensive scheme on a consistent basis. And to Tracy's point about Greg Marshall, you wonder, he so wants this game, this rematch game, if he got his guys a little too jacked up, a little too nervous. So good advice to calm down and play. And Jack Morris sees that one. Dip down and out. That last foul on this end was on Fox, negating the basket. Never nice. had a basket on either side for over three minutes. Nice to see a Shaq with a good looking stroke, though. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Shaq knows all about this Shaq. As Gabriel, he's 0 for 4 off the bench. He, was, he, he brokered that, uh, Grant, yesterday. Had to connect the two yesterday. Shaquille Morris. Send a message to the big man. How about that? There he goes. Right on cue. Great moving without the basketball. Number four big fella down there on that low block. He knows how to play this kid. Like the personality. The actor. Yeah. Last seven scored and gone to the Shockers. The Monk's not getting looks at all. They are really hugging him. Got to loosen him up with the bounce. Fox. Pretty go quick and going to the right too and using the right at the rim. His second hoop of the game. He's got four. The first Kentucky field goal of four and a half. And once again, Wichita State, you got to get the ball. Morris has to have some touches inside out against this stingy defense. Well, Frank was free in the corner. Nice turnaround. Back short with the shot. He said he got hit on the elbow. Gabriel. He's not hitting his shots. And they got Willis over there for him. So that was him. Right now it's an ugly game, which you think would favor Wichita State. Morris on the side for two more. What a nice entry, too. But and Willis with a good look, huh? And Rap, they're starting to find their rhythm offensively, making sure they execute, getting the inside to the big fella. He's across again. Fox back outside. And not this time. Oh, special delivery by Fox. 
Mars is so good without the ball. It's a little Marcus play. That's Willis. Oh, and off the back of the rim. He's so talented, lefty. The third leading score for Wichita State off the bench. Very effective on that block. Beat it down low. Out of bio. Pretty soft ball. And just taking advantage of the size disparity. That might have been his first touch there on the block. And you called it early. They got a right hit. I'm just concerned with beating you off the dribble, Frank Camps. You've got to hug him on the catch. Nice cut. And look at the good hands by Bam. Ball bounces off the glass. Sets up an open shot. Frank Camp thought he had it. I did too. Yeah, yeah right on the here. Good shooters don't miss short. Fumble. <laughs> out of bounds. Look at Chess. Stares him down with disdain. <laughs> And Shaq moving without the ball, finishing at the rim. And on the other end, bam, bam. Take it to the 10, big fella. They need some easy baskets. Give it south. Watch Masters Live on CBSSports.com for exclusive video of Amen Corner. Action from 15 and 16, featured groups, highlights, and analysis. Live on CBSSports.com and Masters. Dot com. So two minutes to go in what well, you call it ugly. I mean, it is a, it's a slugfest out here. I think I said unattractive. <laughs> it was you I think I said yeah, ugly. Yeah. 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 And they have been struggling, and it is good defense, no question about it. But a lot of open looks have not gone down. He's trying to get one now, Monk. There you right. go. Out of the break. Out of the he, he can light it up. Yes, he can. And has struggled as of late with his shot. And maybe hitting there the toughest shot he's taken, following through. Yeah, Cal was saying that, right? They were working on him sort of linger. Really yeah. like nice cut. And this kid, Shaq, knows how to play. Shaq does too. As he sets up for us. Good feet. I mean, this kid is so knowledgeable. Timeout, Kentucky. Buck was only 17 of 54 and right now in recent the, games. And the freshman taking over. Buck, what a difficult shot with pressure, knocking it down, and then Shamit delivering to Shaq, the big fella finishing. Tomorrow, an all new late show with Stephen Colbert. He's got Brian Cranston. And later this week, don't miss Ryan Reynolds and John Stewart. Colbert, the smart choice in late night. You, know, you got to get Monk involved, I think, too. I think Kentucky has a prayer if Monk doesn't light it up. And there he is. Look at this rebound, though. Catchable. Strong. Finally into the hands of McDuffie. And Mars doesn't give him. Sprints out. Ducks in. Three seconds. Wow. You don't hear that much. No. Morris complaining he was wide open. He missed him inside. First three second call we've seen in the six games in Indianapolis. Nurture yeah. in for Morris. Greg Marshall subbing him out. Already got one foul. Can't afford to have to get another one here in the last minute. Such a valuable piece of what they try and do. Look at the alley oop off the little bump and the monk. He is something, isn't he? Terrific pass. A little brush screen. I saw this kid in Vegas light it up. I mean, he's just an amazing talent right there. The ability to analyze, get the bump. Number three, Idris. Bam. Coming up, at and at the half. Greg, Clark, Wally, and Kenny. First half analysis. And a look at how Michigan punched its ticket to the Sweet 16. Plus the story of Cincinnati's Troy Copain, whose mom shows no limits to being there for her son. That's straight ahead on AT&T at the half. You in Vegas saw him 
put up 47 points. He's the second highest scoring freshman in the nation this year behind Markel Fultz. Big time. We'll be hearing about him. Everybody has him highly rated. Thirty seconds to go. And Morris back on the floor. Tries to bank it home, and Kentucky can hold it. I go right into the big guy. Get Morris another one. And he's on the floor. They gamble, but they get a good set. And this is going to be a dribble drive, I think. One four. I would trap this ball screen if they run out. And be careful, particularly if Willis is setting that ball screen, because he can space the floor with his shooting. Fox with four. Goes in, balls on the floor, and out of time. Back's a little distraught. Calipari thought there was some contact as Fox got to the rim. And the officials are letting them play But Shaq Morris as Fox with the great crossover getting to his left hand. And the big fella contesting threw that thing up high. Well, he sure did. He had to. Great attention to detail by the Shockers. Let's go over to Tracy. Thanks a lot, Coach. Both teams playing very good defense, but offensively, what more do you need to see from your team? I'd like Monk to hit a couple bombs, to be honest with you. We need to post the ball a little bit more, let Bam get going. They're being physical. You can't miss those one-footers. And in transition, if the court is spaced, go. If the court is tight, we're... It, Maybe a low scoring game, which we're fine with. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Jim. Well, that's the end of the first half with the score. Kentucky 26, Wichita State 24. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after this message and a word from your local station. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Amazon Echo. Buick, The Boeing Company, and by Budweiser. Uh, the ability of this guy, you're looking for senior experience, this kid steps up 13 minutes, just provides a lift, some terrific drive, draw, and occasionally that kick, spot up, knockdown. down. With Wichita State, Shaquille Morris, they double teamed him early on, now they got him in movement, great rip screen, finish to the basket, and of course in screener roll, he's got great feet, they spread the floor, the roll to the basket, great hands, and tremendous finish down low for Shaquille. Here are the Infinity first half stats, and by the way, Shaquille Morris led Wichita State with eight points and five rebounds. Now, what did you do with Shaq Morris when you found out his grandmother had named him after Shaquille? You stepped up and? I called the real Shaquille, yeah. the Hall of Famer <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, who's a neighbor of mine, and here is what happened, Jim. Big Shaq, I'm here with Big shot. That's right. Wichita so, State. So you got to tune in. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and uh, I might do a little dunk or something for you. And do a little, uh, you know? <laughs> Everybody root for Kentucky. Do what you got to do, baby. I know who you are. I know, hey, I know about all them shacks. All right? Good luck. I know who you are. He is like a big kid, isn't he? Uh, and they both have similar personalities. They do. Shaquille Morris and Shaquille O'Neal yeah. there. Now, you have to be a certain size to be named Shaquille. I mean, this happened at birth. His grandmother said, let's name him Shaquille. She's made that suggestion to the family. Not many little Shaquilles out no. there. I'm thinking of Shaquille Barrett, the linebacker for the Broncos. Not too many point guards named Shaquille. That's right. <laughs> I can't think of any. But Shaq knows them all. He knows, knows them all. Those Shaquilles out there. He does. All right, guys. Let's see what we got here in the second half. Now, what you touch State needs Shaquille Mars to play big. And Shamit. Uh, late the shot clock. That's where they shorten games. Grand camp with five. And Shamit, they got the open shot with one. Oh, and it spins out. And look at Willis pull it away for Kentucky. Well, just tough to score quickly. They get back, they balance the floor, they sprint back. 
Greg Marshall time was four seconds, right? You got four to get back. Yeah. Monk. The glass. And there is Adebayo. And he drew Morris. That's what happened. The big shot trying to help out. The cleanup by Van Van. Shamit weaving. Tough shot, and it comes off the rim. McDuffie sees Cox. Knocked it away, but back to McDuffie baseline, and again, last touch by Kentucky. Well, a pretty good adjustment by McDuffie, just couldn't finish it. And right now, Morris, as you said, coming over to block the shot. You got to be back and keep Bam off the glass, which is an impossible task. He's so big and strong. Feasting on the offensive glass. Yeah, that's one of those overhelp situations, too. You know, stay at home. There was one guy defending, right? I agree. You almost get the sense with both teams playing such great defense. Whoever can get on a 6 7 0 run will probably ultimately win. Here's the three point shot. Yeah, and that's Zach Brown, who was three for three from three on Friday in the win against Dayton. And I love. This player, Zach Brown, you star in your role. His role is to defend and knock down open threes. And if I, he starts making that shot, I and mean, that's big time. He can make it. And that's a him at the block, though, in this kind of a game. Worse. Who hits the jumper? Gives him 10 for the game. I know the. Shaquille O'Neal didn't make that kind of shot. A little fade away from 10. Fox fouled. And let's check in with Tracy. Well, you can bet Greg Marshall so happy with that start. He wanted to see more from his offense. He felt his team came out extremely lethargic, very similar, he said, to the start on Friday. He liked the way they played defense, but he wants to see better ball movement offensively. He also told them this is our 20 minutes, our year rides on this, Jim. Mm. A year that, well, he told us it's like one of those time-lapse videos when he thinks about where they were last summer on their trip to Canada and watching this team, in his words, go from a seed to a bud to a flower here in the tournament. That's from Greg Marshall. Yeah, it's been does. amazing, he says, to watch this all evolve. Well, he knows every game was important all year for him. He felt that they didn't win the tournament. They may not have gotten into the NCAA yeah. in the Missouri Valley. And, you know, he's got something to say. But this is a talented team that could play with a lot of clubs. Feels like they're historically underseated. Fran Cam got the three, his second of the game. And that was set up by a back pick. And you have to help. And Fran Camp got open. Monk is coming out because he didn't do the right job defensively. Going with Hawkins. Hawkins with the seven points in 13 minutes, and that's a foul against McDuffie. And it's a nice little slice cut there, Rav, as Morris. And really, Frank Camp didn't really screen him. It looked like Bam was okay guarding Morris, and Monk just fell asleep. And as you said, that's why he's out of the game. And was, I think he's a little complaining over there, too. I don't think Cal can hear him, but uh, this is the kind of a game you can't make a lot of mistakes. Nice pull up. Fox. Okay, they're going to hit the shot. Now it's seven for the game. That's where he's gotten better, that mid range game. Getting to the rim. Here's the lob to Fran Camp. Oh, wow. Of all people. Shot it right. Wouldn't expect that. As Briscoe goes back outside. Box slashes to the basket. Cut off by Morris. Nice replace and duck in. Out of the Nice play. Great setup. Second slam of the half. And Willis. Great acknowledgement to the box. Jam it. Squeezes it through. And a foul. Well, they need him to get going. I don't know how he got that ball up. It looked no like kid. Willis had the angle on the block shot coming from the weak side. And Shamit just kind of maneuvered the his pretty clever. Right? Yeah, very clever. Bench getting excited and pumped up. Able to contort and score. There wasn't a whole lot there. You know, this kid impressed all of us, didn't he? Such a poised individual, Shamit. I, 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 could, I could bring him down to my house. Uh, yeah. He loves to cook. Right. He uh, keeps the house nice and neat. 
He does it all. He rooms with McDuffie and uh, Willis and Deshaun Smith, and they say he does all the cooking, all the cleaning. It's spotless. Fox's oh, oh, oh. shot rolls off the rim, and here is Shamit. Great contest. Nice dive here. Wide open ground. And a quick timeout. Kentucky. Shamit is the guy. Now, Coach Cal said, wait a minute, we, we didn't call for that timeout. A nice so. way to slow it down, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without costing it. What a no-look pass, though, by Shaman. Good, beautiful. Oh, they also run on the floor. They bite you with that little break on occasion. If you lapse. And Kentucky's got to go back inside to Bam. Matched up with Nerger. Well, they wouldn't let Monk in on that little lapse. For Willis. That's his game. Three pointer for Willis. His first basket of the afternoon. Got a hug. Can't leave him. That's where the dribble drive is so important for Kentucky. Gotta love Fox picking up full court. And it's on Fox. Uh, I don't know about that one, Rab. Looks like he well, lost his feet. Well, for an old married man or future <laughs> married man, maybe I get a little nylon from deep. Kentucky needs a lot more of that. Who delivered the Buick expectation shattering performance of the day? Tune in to Inside March Madness presented by Buick and find out. Coach, as someone who was so defensive minded, I'd like to reward the effort by Fox here taking the charge, but I think it was right. Feet were moving. I know you felt maybe different. Yeah, maybe just play on. Did you say you were defensive minded? Oh, you caught that. All right, let's check it. <laughs> I think you had to be under Coach K. Fox uh, went to that huddle a little shaken up, but he's not in the lineup at the moment. That takes away that penetration now. That's a problem at the other end. It's a strong defensive team. Look at this kid. Head to Monk. Pull up, jumper. And nobody at the rim. A one, one against three. Against, oh, boy. I don't know about that. I know you want to get going. Nurser looking for help. Nice hands by Bam. He makes the steal. This go now, the point guard with a small lineup. Nice entry. And that's going to be on Nurser. And that's the thing with Willis. I mean, he can shoot the ball, so you got to hug him. Gives him easy access, the sight lines, the ability at six foot eight uh, to make that pass over the top or wherever necessary. This one, a little bounce delivery leading the big fella to the 10. So the freshman from Little Washington, North Carolina, east of Greenville, North Carolina. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament at NCAA.com. The Women's Final Four is in Dallas, March 31st and April the 2nd, as Shaq Morris comes back out for the Shockers. Well, he's really had some good numbers. That's his sixth rebound, along with 10 points, a couple of blocks. One more dribble. I think he could have had something, Shamit. Got the Morris with seven. Brand he can Pam. shoot it. No, that's not good, but he's got that kind of range. I think for Kentucky here, you got to go back inside. Get the ball to Bam. He didn't convert on those free throws. And baseline bumps. They like to run. Great tonight by Brown. Briscoe takes it inside. <laughs> Strong move. <laughs> and Kentucky back ahead by one. Boy, he is so tough when he chests up like that. Ooh, Briscoe almost had a steal. Brown. 
Oh, what a drive. Unfortunately, no finish. Frank Camp with a kick out. And no fresh shot clock. Jack looked like he was going up to dunk it or something, but it slipped out of his hand. Yeah, Briscoe was right there, too. Close the problem for him. Monk. Oh, there you go. Good night. That's their game. Empty side, drive it. Nice poise, patience. And Monk, not just a deep shooter. Great time. There's one of those runs you talked about, Grant. The last seven to Kentucky. Timeout, Greg Marshall. Jim, you mentioned the 7 0 spurt by Kentucky. Well, getting out in transition before that Wichita State defense could get set. And we know they love to throw the lob. No weak side help there. Just a tremendous job. Everyone's standing around watching. And you know this team, Kentucky, they feed off of this momentum of a big dunk. Alley you plays. 7 0 run. We said what team is going to have that run? Kentucky's had it. Can they sustain? And the one thing about Monk, he can make that shot too, so that's, you got to stay honest. And Rab, Wichita State has not scored a point in over three minutes. So that's Marshall going to the timeout, try to settle things down for the Shockers. They squander that four point lead and they come out with the jumper from Shamit. Able to shoot over the smaller Hawkins, just so poised as I mm -hmm. talked about in the open. Hit big shot, change the momentum a little bit for the Shockers. Monk, I thought he could have gone all the way on that, turned the corner. Kentucky knows, and Willis down on the fake, and Morris thought he had a block, but they say there was contact. His second. We need to see that again. Once again, the Shockers always helping each other on defense. Shaquille Moore is coming no, from the weak side and grabbing a little wrist. That's like grabbing the ushers with the collection plate the way he got hold of him. <laughs> Follow Bleacher Report on Instagram. Get the coolest sports content before anyone else. Join millions of others. Follow Bleacher Report on Instagram now. Willis was the first to commit in that class that in 2014 went against Wichita State. That was the class that included Julius Randle, James Young, the Harrison Twins. Willis was the first one to sign up. And the last to be here, right? Yeah, now. he's been through a lot of teammates. He'll be graduating in May with a degree in communications. Nice little lob play set up. And it's Kelly on the other end of it. And Morris, the catalyst, the big fella. They're making a play, well designed. Morris can do a lot of things, but he, he can. He is a solid player, great communicator defensively. And look how he spaces. He's up the lane doing his homework early, so you don't get a duck in on him. Good show, great show, and nobody uh, the help on the back. Briscoe to Willis. Pump fake back out to Briscoe with eight. They know who they're guarding. Walk. McDuffie's so smart. He knows he's not that good a deep threat. Jersey City Zone. Bobby Hurley made Grand Hill. Bob Hurley made this kid a player. <laughs>
Monk's had to keep back. That's one way of doing it. Here he comes off the screen, dribble exchange. Look at the help, though. Yep. Right away, they had two in the area. Now he drives in on Brown. And that's knocked out with 10 on the shot clock. Uh, boys, they were saying Zach's a dancer. He can guard, too. You can see the <laughs> quick feet he has. What you got to do to the break them down and make somebody help weak side and i, and I don't know if mars he's talking he and the coach are the connection on this team without usually it's the point, point guard, guard yeah so with them is big the center fella. big shack third foul on shaman and now De'Aaron fox out of houston texas cypress lakes high school and deshaun smith returns for the shockers Fox has really been the best player for Kentucky as Frank Camp checks back in as well. well. He's got that ability to stretch the D now. That's what he can contribute. You got to get out there. Could open up some angles. Two for two for Fox. And Kentucky going to put on some pressure here in the backcourt. And Jim, I think that's smart. They got to get themselves self-motivated. This will energize them a little bit. And this team's so wise and poised that they don't just hurry. And running jump action here by Kentucky. Well, you can gamble because you're not going to pay for it too often in Wichita State. They're not going to make a, a silly shot or a quick one. Big Duffy. He'll take it. And yeah. it's going to be on. Hawkins. Yeah. Oh, Hawkins. That was a good call. Hawkins. Kentucky fans thought it was Morris. He rooted out there into the legs of Shaquille Morris on the glass. You the can't ball. move this guy, though. Come on, Grant. Well, maybe you have. <laughs> Grant came from the corner. Yeah, appreciate the effort, though. Kelly it was. It's the offensive end with the rebound. I think it was the right call. Yeah. Traveling on Grand Camp. He doesn't make many mistakes. Of course, once again, that guy Fox, his length out there. Now nah, that was yeah, no that question. Was a little extra hot. ISO's here. He wants to ISO this. Take him away from his left. Feeds the corner to Willis. And look at Smith. And went down to get it. Great job setting it up by Fox, though. And Willis saw that one coming. Heads up play. Fox doing a little adjusting out there. Wildcats without a field goal for almost four minutes. A couple free throws. Yes. And he's back to hoop. Now, you were saying about Mark. That's that's contributing without scoring. Be a decoy. Yeah. Without scoring, be a facilitator. Kentucky from four up to four down to four up again. Kelly, working hard for two. Great about that. Great footwork. Up, pump fakes. Up and under. Defense. 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 Almost came away with it. <laughs> and Fox. Beats the wing to Hawkins. For one extra pass, he had Willis in the corner, too. Hawkins' first miss of the game. The Morris between two defenders. And there was a foul on the shot. Morris is down on the floor. Oh, he can't be hurt. You can't hurt that guy. No, he's not hurt. 
Uh, talk about well, they said he was a good actor. <laughs> yeah. he, remember, he even did Denzel Washington. Yeah, he was very yeah. good. Yeah, it was very enjoyable. And how about him? You trap him, and he busts through. And you know, I love that when you trap, just attack the double team, forcing the deep, the, the officials, excuse me, to make a call. And wow, that's a big wet spot down there in the paint. <laughs> they got three guys out with brushes to handle it. <laughs> oh, what a character! That was a good Denzel, too. <laughs> it was. Who's going to make the most shots? Who has more points in the second half? Hey, if your brackets are busted, play the Capital One NCAA Tournament Run Game on NCAA.com and in the March Madness Live app. And somebody says, hey, do this for me. Show him Denzel. It's kind of hard just, you know, out of the blue, but he did it. He did it. He did it. Because Denzel played freshman basketball at Fordham. His coach, P.J. Carlissimo, and he survived. <laughs> the NCAA tournament nugget of the day for Mr. Raftery. <laughs> Willis. Nice Nice inside out, huh? Willis, after he entered the ball into the post, he slid to the corner, got open. And Wichita stayed out of control. Trying to do too much, get too deep. That is his game, but Monk. Oh, look at this Ooh. check down. I think oh. Shaq. And Adebayo took a really hard fall. And Shaq with a little extra on the checkout. Third foul on Morris as they head to a break. Two of the highest energy, intense coaches you find in the land as their teams battle for a spot in the Sweet 16. CBS coverage after this game will continue with Michigan State and Kansas. And at 5 p.m. Eastern on TNT, it's the Infinity NCAA tip-off, followed by Arkansas, North Carolina. And at 7.10 Eastern time, TBS has Rhode Island and Oregon. True TV with USC and Baylor. Here's a look at the Midwest. Starting to get two Big Ten teams heading to Kansas City with Purdue. Giving up that big lead last night and then responding. Mm -hmm. And Michigan winning on this floor earlier today in a thrilling game. Jim Galen's got to be smiling someplace, huh? Look at this kid going for it. Fox, good look. Out of bio. He got knocked to the floor right before that timeout. And he comes right out and picks up two more. And smart, too. Without Morris in there, he's got the strength, the size. That's <laughs> goaltending. A little bit of a life by Bam Bam here, huh? You talked about it. Morris went to the bench. So Autobio able to get on that glass, get inside position, blocking out, and being able to finish. And then coming from the weak side, you love the activity and energy, but a little too late. Call for the goaltender. Two points for Shamit. And while he sat, this game turned a little bit in Kentucky's favor. So they've got him back out there. And they got this advantage. They go right to it, too. What a nice look again. As you mentioned, Monk dropping that beautiful look. And the mismatch inside right away got Morris up because they can't play without him. Bam has 12 points, 10 in the second half. He's got to be a drive game right now. No center. Reeves comes off the screen. Willis back to the rim, and it's out again to Adebayo. Well, Mayo's in a minute out. Morris, the impact. Him not being on the floor. And it's a game of spurts. Kentucky finding that rhythm here late in the second half. And really Monk being a facilitator. Bam has a double-double off that rebound, and that's out of bounds off Kentucky. Stepping out. And he had Willis waiting. He didn't have to go all the way across the lane. I'm not sure if I've seen a team feed off of a slam dunk and a finish at the rim like Kentucky as Morris checks back in for Wichita State. But as I say, get him more involved. Get him touches. It'd be interesting if they go back to him with Shaquille back. Mike Marshall trying to get McDuffie onto the floor. By the way, he's only one of five in this game, guys, and he's got a total of three points. And 
talented kid too. Big upside is going to get better and better. It's been the big guys on both teams. They're the only ones in double digits. Kill Morris and Bam. I would go to Morris if he. There's McDuffie. Good drive, and Morris just controlled the baseline there. Got Bam on his back, but you're in the game without problems. Utilize the big fella. So Marcus comes right onto the floor and hits his second shot of the game. And we have six minutes remaining. Monk keeping active. Nice pump. With Monk taking it inside. McDuffie. Talk about your buddy from Jersey City getting underneath the outstretched arms of Bam and great concentration. Little English with the finish. Second foul on McDuffie. And this will be a one and one for Monk. Out of Bentonville High School in Arkansas. That's his first point of the second half. Hey, if you're hungry for laughs, you're in for a treat. Superior Donuts, new episode tomorrow, 9, 8 Central, only CBS. Yeah, you did that replay on McDuffie. How about that recruiting trip, Jim? 15 hours at Maruta. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Two-stopper. He almost just gave up on the idea of just visiting. It was such a travel hassle. He was glad he got there. Yeah, they're going to need him at the other end. But once again, the full-court pressure trying to... Initiate a little action. They break it with ease. McDuffie looking for help with Shannon. Ooh, puts up a long oh, shot. Wow, oh, my that. goodness. A nice little dribble handoff play. And quick timeout. That kid has ice water in his veins. He's Big the time shot. He's the butler. He can do it all, <laughs> right? Do it all. He's cooking right now. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> chef. <laughs> He makes a mean chili, they'll tell you. That's what they say. He's got 12 points to Shamit. 10 coming since the intermission. He and is, back comes Zach Brown. Well, he's going to be a player, Sh uh, Shamit, Jim. I just like his style, poise. Greg Marshall told his team at practice yesterday, you've got to get your butts turned to the baseline in four seconds. Gotta get down court and put Kentucky into this kind of situation right here. Nice control by the big guy. Number 10. This is Fox now where he is so dangerous. Oh, oh my did he break it down? And look at Bam, yeah, excuse me, Morris. They're looking for everybody to collapse the defense and help them out as they go to block the shot. Well, Brown hacked him on the way up for a dunk. What would have been his fourth dunk of the half. And here is an All-State Mayhem alert. We've had 11 lead changes. And Adebayo going to struggle at the free throw line. He's 0 for 3. Fran Camp comes back. Funny release, 65%. Interesting now these last few possessions both coaches Making a lot of different substitutions as Briscoe's coming in known for his defense and His toughness strategic coming down the end Brings that to four Please sets up your press as well You just give it to the guard. Everybody clear out. No double. Whistle. Well, Bam went down again. Got Willis got him. It looked like Morris was setting a screen on Willis and might have hit his head. He's trying to get over. Ooh, a little hanger job. A new meaning to sliding by a guy. He's okay. I think it'd be tough to hurt him. <laughs> That's the fifth team foul in Kentucky. As we move under five. Got away from Shamit, but oh. Kentucky is there now. Fran Camp is hurt. He is hurt. He got run into to foul right away. He is in pain, and they're going to stop play. 
that run into almost like the other this one was just accidental as well yeah. see just, here what happened and he's just trying to creep busy now create a screen okay, they knee to knee with briscoe there incidental contact frank camp is in some serious pain it looks like really hurting there's a local kid there in Wichita went away to Kansas McDonald's All-American and so happy with the term of events in his career and you hope he can get back he spreads the floor even if he's not hitting yes. threes for him to guard him it helps spacing out there for the offense he's the all-time prep score in Wichita City history out of Wichita North High School and you think of kids out of there like Greg Dryling and Antoine Carr and Barry Ellis. So they're looking at him over on the bench. 440 to go. Kentucky possession and a four-point lead. A little bit of his own look here. Yeah, like a yeah. one, two, two. yeah, a one three one. You're right. Maybe it morphs into where you put the bodies. Like an amoeba. Box. And going right. And Shamit. It was pretty good defensively. Just shows you the blow by ability of Fox. The Aaron so elusive. That is the fourth foul on Shamit. Expect to see Kentucky continue to attack Shamit, knowing he has that fourth foul. Fox, maybe switch him off. Fox to a less pen. You know, Chris Briscoe's a penetrator too. Maybe yeah. Monk, but you want him up here too to control. Grand Camp trying to walk it off. What a two for Fox. 56 51. Winner advances to Memphis. I think he goes through Morris a little bit. Ooh, yeah, walk it out. Can't get him. Fox. And now they got to push it. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. They put an inbound if it does. Fox was there again. Didn't go back that right position. What a tough competitor that this kid is. He's got some length out on the wing for the run out. Extraordinary. Send it in, little fella. <laughs> Big time jam. When you want something good for the cats, get the Fox involved. It's always pretty good. Watching the Big Dance calls for big refreshment. So grab a delicious ice cold Coca-Cola. Enjoy the game. Coca-Cola taste the feeling. Kentucky with a seven-point lead and Fox about as fast as they come in college basketball. And great anticipation, quick like a fox. Just getting down and finishing. I I like this young man because he competes on the defensive end. Loves the challenge. Willing his team here on this Kentucky run. And that man right there, somewhat satisfied. I don't know if he's ever satisfied. <laughs> I, 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 most coaches aren't, but I love how he was ready to guard, cause that timeout. 55% mm -hmm. second half shooting for Kentucky. 14 to 7 stretch now since the game had been cut down by Wichita State. Kentucky, desperation shot. Morris trying to save it for them, does. And Briscoe really did a good job defending McDuffie. Looking for quick hitters, tenacious, and they get the foul. On Kelly, Tracy. Yeah. Well, Greg Marshall during that timeout referenced the 2013 team. They were an eight seed, Gonzaga a one, and right about this moment is when they came back. He said lightning does not strike twice unless you make it happen. He said we have to get stops. we got to get big shots just like we did then, Jim. Well, a great report there. Thank you, Tracy. So trying to draw on something that had worked in the Shocker's favor. They put McDuffie length, his length on Fox to try to contain him here. Nice duck in. Short with the shot, and it's Morris. And Morris with the belly bump got him a little further out. There's Shamit. Like it up. Yeah, there's a foul as well. I like this kid. Uh, no backing off in him. 
Well, we talked at the beginning of the day saying the coaches remember, particularly Greg Marshall, and taking advantage right now, a little bounce to bigger guys, just a little blow by Shimmer. Third foul on Willis. And Grand Camp is going to be able to come back into the game. He's trying to check in. As the officials have gone to the monitor. Checking on who the foul was? I don't know. I thought it was on Willis. Called it on Willis. Willis yeah. It's a clock issue. And a free timeout. Both coaches engaged. That move right there by Shamit. That's the third time I've seen him with that little hesitation and go. Freezes the guy a yes. little bit. Very, very poised and crafty. Like that move by Nigel Hayes, remember? Yeah. He's filling over a little, a little to turn and go. Big Steve basket. Smith move from yeah. Michigan State. The one yeah. that won it for him. Everybody's saying Jordan. That's Smitty's, right? That's Smitty's move right there. Unable to finish it off with the three-point play. And they take Shamit off. He's got Mark, and I think that's a good move. They did the last couple of trips with those four foul problems. Box. Good and gather. secured by McDuffie. With two and a half remaining. And right now, it's got to be Shamit or Morris. I like this two-man game on Shamit. Puts it up, and it's foul for three. Ooh. And he is not scared at all. Not Loves at this moment, the challenge of going against some other talented freshmen at Kentucky. Pulling up for three, and definitely a foul on Fox. Well, when you have to keep a room tidy for three guys, uh, <laughs> you're not yeah. afraid of anything. Their nickname for him, the mature one. You can see that, couldn't you, when you met with him? Yeah, he's just a stylish kid. Great leader. Coming in April, a tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS from historic Augusta National. Two more coming for Shannon. When you read that, I felt like I was at home watching on TV. <laughs> so well, maybe, you'll, maybe you'll get an invite this year. Yeah, you know, you never know. Love to have you. <laughs> Master Sunday, three weeks away. Damn it. Meantime, so the best time of the year coming up. The NCAA tournament continues on its path to Phoenix as Brown is back on the floor. How about Brown and Morris divulging yesterday before the teammates? They actually went to middle school together in Houston, and no, they didn't realize that. Amazing. They went that far back. A huge difference, right? Before Morris is nice family goes to Oklahoma. Two and a half, and they back off the press. And, you know, right now for Kentucky, I might try to run a play for Malik Monk. You have Shamit on him with four fouls. Get him engaged here in some sort of action, coming off some screens to get an open look. Good call. That's what they're doing. Baseline run. Monk. Oh, that was a top shot. Cole. Look you in the eye. Drill. Shamit was on him. He was, right? That's a great challenge. Trying to answer it back. Kelly, back outside Brown, he can hit this. He does. How about these kids? Great find, the most dangerous time, that rebound kick. Now it looks like Wichita State is back in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. You have to find shooters, Willis and Monk, in the corners. And the problem is rebounding, too, but it's secured. A lot of opportunities to hit the offensive glass. On the drive, Shannon yeah. had to back away. Shannon had to back off with the four fouls. <laughs> it's, a, it's a game of can you top that? <laughs> and Morris was locked in, could not come over to help. You are right, that kid, explosive, big time. Minutes to go. Jam it again. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yes, they can tuck that. This is reminding me of a, a certain game back in 1992. <laughs> One great play after another. I hope you're right all the way to the finish. 
And inside, Bam just set a little screen on Morris. And Fox able to get by and finish with authority at the rim. Well, we talked about this kid, his leadership. How about traffic? Uh, the dominant hand, the defender there, cold as well. Reacting to Monkstree. I got one of my own. Shamit with eight of the last 11 Wichita State points. This is game 46 of this tournament, including the first four games of Dayton. There's not been an overtime game in the tournament so far. And there has not been a game that's finished with a winning shot at the buzzer so far. They're going to get free, and he calls a timeout. They only two left right now for Kentucky. Kentucky will try to inbound it again with 55 seconds remaining. Again, a rematch game, if you will, from the second round affair in 2014 in St. Louis. And Kentucky won 78-76, ending the undefeated season up to that point for the Shockers. Right now for Wichita State, it's just getting a stop here. Obviously some token pressure here. Might have a trap opportunity. They get it into Fox's hands, I think. You got the ability on the perimeter, three pretty good handlers. And I agree, down the clock here. Fox can make plays. As... Nice screen. Monk drives in, floats it, and it's off the rim. Into the arms of Brown. Wichita State can take the lead on this possession. Got to go to what's working, and that's Shamit. Somehow getting the ball back, having an opportunity for a quick screen and roll. Here he is, boxes on him, gives it up quickly. McDuffie. Yeah, run the double form. He gave it up. Morris wants help. Goes to McDuffie with eight to shoot. McDuffie, he's blocked by Monk. How about that? How about this kid? And you made the point early in the game, if you're not doing well, not making shots. Of course, he made the big three. Do something, contribute to the cause, and just good understanding of when to go up. Let him go up first, and do not foul. Big time. And you said it best. I mean, to contest a three-point shot, the timing was perfect. And Malik Monk, you know what? Struggled a little bit offensively, but he's found ways, as you said, to be productive. Shaman had been their man here in the last three minutes, but he barely touched it. Mm -hmm. On that possession. Well, he gave it up. They ran a double screen for him, and he never got it back. But right now, Wichita State, no timeout, so they've got to do everything on the fly now. Two shots for Monk with 10 seconds to go. Grand Camp is coming in. Saw Coach like, Powell's play. Yeah. They're now getting sent. I'm sure Kentucky's going to... The ability to push the ball now is key. Get it in Shamit's hand and speed dribble. And Frank Camp, you better stay at home at the other end on him. And Kentucky's a substitution trying to set up their defense. They have four guards on the court right now. And you can say, do you foul in this situation? I would, I would wait after half court, though. Uh, seven, six seconds. Shamit. Don't foul the backcourt. Six seconds to go. This is when I would give it. Needs a three. Two seconds to go. Has to put it up. It's blocked again. And Kentucky takes it. 65-62 to head to the Sweet 16. Two blocks the last two times down the floor by the Wildcats. And Raft, it's fitting that this Kentucky team wins it down the stretch with their defense. Getting big stops when needed. Wichita State gave everything they could. And I'll tell you what, a tremendous block, great contest. Bam, jumping without fouling, and wow, smothering Shamit down the stretch. Uh, just great coordination and help here. Hawkins on the one side, and look at the big fella. Now you are right, defensively they stepped up with some magnificent stops and Wichita State broken in a sense but unbowed. What a great, great gutsy performance by those kids. All right, Tracy, over to you. Congratulations, Coach. You said you wanted to see Monk step up. Well, that big three and then the block and the free throws. How about your freshman and over there, of course, De'Aaron Fox stepping it up down the stretch? Well, Bam was really good, too. That's true. I mean, Dom was really good, too. 
Uh, uh, Derek Willis made some shots that really helped us. Uh, Wichita's a good team. They 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 got misseeded, but um, you know our team we do do the little things. I, I think we are coached where we do block out and we do dive on the floor and we make the extra plays. So I, I was proud of these guys and how they played. Thanks so much. Let's talk with De'Aaron now. De'Aaron, down the stretch here, you did whatever you could to fend them off. Where did you guys find that resiliency? Uh, I mean, we've been in games like this uh, a few times this year, and uh, even though we're young, we've been able to close out games, and uh, we did that today, but uh, we're so much better than the way we played tonight, I mean, well, today, uh, this afternoon and uh, when we play, Friday and Friday night, so uh, let's just try not to, you know, start off like that. But uh, we've, we've proven that we've been able to close out games. Well, you're on to the Sweet 16. How does it feel to be able to come back and play another week? Oh, uh, man, it feels good. Just just knowing that if you lose, your season's over. Um, like everybody says, survive in advance. And uh, even though we are not playing, our, we didn't play our best today, uh, we just got to be happy about the win. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. A couple of gutsy defensive stands by the Wildcats the last two times down the floor. And they head to Memphis now for a Friday Match up against the winner of UCLA and Cincinnati, which is later tonight on TBS. Well, Adebayo had a bunch of slams in this game, but he slammed the door shut on the Shockers with a block to save it at the end. Kentucky advances coming up next on CBS Michigan State in Kansas. For Bill, Grant, and Tracy, Jim Nance saying so long from Indianapolis. We'll head to our studio in New York after this.